could it be? But me, your man, Louis T. Welcome to the 2019 NFL Draft Prospects 101 Series. Your guide to some of the biggest and hottest names. The 2019 NFL Draft, we're talking running backs. And his next running back, look, he was one of the most highly sought after running backs coming out of high school just a mere three years ago now. He knew what he was stepping into when he decided to go to Penn State and sit behind Saquon Barkley. He knew uh, playtime was going to be limited and sparse, but yet he hung tough, waited for his turn, and when he got it, he took advantage of it. I'm talking about running back Miles Sanders out of Penn State. Now, here's a 5'11", 215-pound back that was a three-year guy at Penn State, but again, as we talked about, uh, spent two years essentially as a special teams reserve behind Saquon Barkley. And he got 38 career games under his belt, but only 13 as a starter, all of which coming in 2018. But he made the most of that season with 220 carries for uh, 1,274 yards and nine touchdowns. So you get a guy with a little bit of a kickoff return experience and has a little bit of of multifaceted uh, type of ability, which is going to serve him well in the NFL. I, I talked about some of the other runners and how... You can put some of these other guys in a box. Can't necessarily do that with Miles Sanders. And that fits with what's going on in today's NFL. You need to be multifaceted if you want to stay on the field and be able to be a contributor at the next level. So this was a guy that I was a little concerned about with his fumbles. I looked at his career numbers and he had 10 career fumbles. Then I went back and watched all of his fumbles. And honestly speaking, there really aren't many of these that are on him. A lot of these were mishandles on the quarterback um, running back exchange on read option and they credited the fumble to Miles Sanders so I, I cut him a, a little bit of a break and some slack there because a lot of these fumbles really weren't on him because he had five fumbles in 2018 four of which he lost and I had to go back and watch and most of them were on the handoff exchange with Trace McSorley so um, I cut him a little bit of a break there but guys really talented Let's take a look at what he was able to do. Everything we're going to look at is from 2018 because, again, not a lot of tape from the past two years. So 2018, really all he has on display. So let's take a look at what he was able to do. First game of the season. All right. And <laughs> Appalachian State had these boys on the ropes. If I'm not mistaken, it, it was something like 10 or 11 years to the day they went into the big house and upset Michigan. They had Penn State at Happy Valley. On the ropes, probably should have beat them. Let's take a look at this game, though, here. Um, so first carry here by Miles Sanders um, as a Penn State starting running back. And this is a quality run right here, man. You, you, you get out of a shoestringer there. You're able to cut back. See, that ball looked a little loose to me on that cutback, but that's a hell of a cutback. Stick his foot in the ground. You can see why this guy was so highly sought after out of high school. Uh, you see the talent. You're going to see it throughout this this film breakdown as well. So here, you, you see the, the hesitation and the, the stutter there. Nice little physical run. Stick his pads down and able to get the first down. Uh, a gain of 11 on a play that easily could have been stopped for a gain of five or so. Here right now, make your miss out in space. Watch this. Whoops. <laughs> that guy didn't stand a chance. And this is third and six. Penn State handing it off on third and six. And Miles Sanders making... James Franklin right with that run. And so that's a nice quality run there. Look at the stiff arm here and the yards after contact on a little pitch to the outside. Little juke there. Stiff arm. Get off me. I got more yards to pick up. And then able to finish the run physically uh, with an additional five yards after contact. So that's a really nice run there. And, you know, I'm a big, huge proponent of ball on the outside hand. And that allows him to put up that stiff arm. And get the additional yardage there. Not enough guys utilize the ability to use the stiff arm because they don't have the ball in the correct hand. So that's good stuff there by Miles Sanders. And this next play, you know, it is the ability to catch it out of the backfield. You know, nice little catch there and, and get up the field. First and 10 catch. You end up getting 11 yards out of that in the first down. So I told you, he's a multifaceted back. Kickoff return experience. Can run it in between the tackles. Can run it outside the tackles. And can catch it a little bit. Here. Nice little jump cut. Watch this jump back cut right there. Boom. That jump back cut and able to get to the outside. And uh, that's some real agility there, folks, to be able to to make that kind of jump back cut and get the yardage and then reaccelerate up the sideline and get the kind of yardage he got on that play. 
again, you see the talent and why this guy was so highly sought after coming out of Penn State. Now here, I need him to be better in pass pro. All right. That, that's just, that's just piss poor right there. You got to block somebody, pick one, you know, two guys come at him and he kind of gets deer in the headlights going there and, and doesn't block a soul. And right there, I need him to figure that out. Block somebody, anybody, pick one. I'd like you to block the MDM, most dangerous man. All right. That's usually the guy on the inside. All right. But either way, just pick a guy, any one of them, please hit somebody. He hit nobody. And uh, luckily enough, Trace McSorley was able to get that football away. So here, uh, we move on to Pitt at Pitt and in a, what was a very sloppy, nasty, wet game. And Miles Sanders looked very comfortable in this environment. Let's take a look here. So they're pinned against their own one yard line. And look at this run here. Great little hop step right there. Boom. The eluder guy that got some pressure right into the backfield and an and immediate um, penetration. And then look, he was able to run into a, his own guy and then reaccelerate. And look at this. I, you know what? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> when I was watching this, I'm not going to lie to you. My initial reaction here was Saquon wouldn't have got caught. <laughs> I know I shouldn't do that. That's not fair to Miles Sanders, but Saquon wouldn't have got caught there. But that's a hell of a run, right? I don't know if Saquon gets out of that mess to begin with, but it's a hell of a run. Either way, this is another nifty little run. Inside the tackles, making a nice couple of string, you stringing a couple of nice cuts together there to, to pick up a nice little nine yard gain there on the first down run. Here, that there's some good patience there. Comes out of the pack, able to make a defender miss there. Contact balance, still on his feet. And um, getting yards after contact, man. That's another quality run there by Miles Sanders here. Now, these next two runs, this is Miles Sanders trying to do too much. And he'll do this from time to time. There's nothing here. He's trying to get out of danger and make something happen. And, and there's there's nothing to be had here. There's just nothing here. And he takes a play that could have been a uh, loss of one, maybe no gain, and turns it into a loss of five. All right, here, this is another example of that. There's nothing here. He needed to put his head down and, and get a dirty run here. That should have been a gain of one or two, no gain at, wor at worst. And, and he tries to bounce it outside to the short side of the field. There's nothing there. And he ends up losing about a good four on first and goal from the nine. And so th th those are situations you just want to avoid if you're Miles Sanders. And again, he'll do that from time to time. But uh, he'll make more big runs than he'll lose yards on those types of plays, but those are in his DNA. So you have to be careful of those. So we go on to Illinois and he had a field day against the Illini in this football game. A lot of big runs, a lot of talent on display here from Miles Sanders. Let's take a look at what he did in this game. This first play, he sets up this uh, a block here and uh, that kickout block right there was set up by Miles Sanders pressing the outside, make that guy miss at the second level and pick up an additional four yards on the play. Uh, that's a really, really nice run there by Miles Sanders. This next one, this is burst. Make you miss on the outside, but there's a hole. Burst. Now make this guy miss and get into the end zone. Make this guy miss, and let's go taste pay dirt. And that's that physical finish into the end zone. That's everything you want to see from a back on one play there by Miles Sanders. This next play right here, patience to slither through the hole. This is not a big hole, folks. Watch the patience. And then watch him turn sideways, slither through the hole. And now let's go make something happen at the second level. Pick up an additional three or four yards after contact. Make that guy miss. That safety came in flying. If not from that backside defender, um, he might make that guy miss and, and pick up more yardage. Here, he finds the hole, all right, and he's able to make this uh, last defender miss. Now it's off to the races. Now I, I got speed and green grass in front of me. Let's go and open it up and show what I can do. He's able to get into the end zone here. And so I love the fact that he's consistently making that final defender miss. And in here, you'll just see a little bit of shiftiness on display. Make this first defender miss. All right. Then he's going to make another guy miss right here. And then he's going to try to spin here. I mean, just a lot of shiftiness and agility on display from Miles Sanders. And again, you see why this guy was so heralded out of high school. Really talented uh, football player here in Miles Sanders. So we move on to the next game versus Michigan. And this first play, good pass pro right here. I, I, I ridiculed him for the lack of pass pro versus App State. That's a quality uh, job of pass pro there. One-on-one -on -one with a blitzing uh, defender. And he's able to pick him up out in the space here. This is a nice little catch. 
and then make your man, make your miss right here. Whoops! Stick your foot in the ground, make a guy miss, and then get additional yardage up the field. That's a gain of nine on first and, or second and ten to set up third and short. That's, that's really nice. Here, pro and go. I'd like to see him. All right, it, it, there's four guys, five blockers. He didn't have anything to do here. Get out into the route. You don't think Trace McSorley doesn't need someone to throw the football to on this play? I'd love to see Miles Sanders recognize quickly in that play. There's nothing for me to do here. Let me get out into the route and, and give Trace McSorley another eligible there. And here, I'll take this pass pro. It wasn't the greatest, but I'll take it. All right, he did his job on that play. Trace McSorley held on to the football too long there. He, hey, look, Miles Sanders did what he had to do on that play to afford Trace McSorley the type of time he needed to get rid of that football. And finally, we take a look at this last game um, that we're going to look at with Miles Sanders at home versus Wisconsin. And this is a, a probing athletic run here. So he's probing the line. Look, there's really nothing there. Probing, probing. Now he gets to the outside. And now, oh, over. A defender up and over. We're seeing more and more of this. I'm not a fan of guys jumping over people, especially um, out in space like that. Uh, after the Willis McGahee play, for those of you familiar, um, in the national championship versus Ohio State and, and this, the gruesome injury he suffered, I'm just not a fan of leaving my feet like this. But, hey, if you can do it and get away with it, why the hell not? Everybody else is doing it. That's the new fad now. He did it. That was an athletic run. Here, uh, this is him utilizing blocks. Look at him set up those blocks, get to the outside. And that was a really patient run, him setting up his blocks and taking a run that if he's not patient, probably a seven yard gain, turned it into a 17 yard gain. And that was all due to the patience of him setting up that block. Here, this is a vicious series of cuts. You know, two cutbacks there and out off to the races we go on the outside. And that's all of that agility that I talk about with Miles Sanders on display, man. Love the fact that he can stick his foot in the ground like that twice that quickly. Watch these two vicious cuts to get to the outside and pick up additional yardage. This is nice, guys. And this is the kind of agility that's going to help him be a factor at the next level. And so um, look at him. Stick his foot in the ground there. One cut there. Another cut here. Boom. And just like that, he's into the second level. And that was all Miles Sanders. All right. That was all Miles Sanders sticking his foot in the ground. I'd love to see him. I'm, I'm nitpicking. You know me. You know what I'm about to say. I'm nitpicking. Switch ball hands. Get that ball to the outside. All right. Here, pass pro. That's quality pass pro right there. All right. He did his job once again. I, again, I ridiculed him in the first game versus App State. He's been quality since then in pass pro situations. And he's a guy that, to me, needs to be on the field all three downs. If not on all that three downs, at least can help you um, on the third down as a receiver. And so if he can pass pro, that's going to speed that process up. Look at him here. It's split out as a receiver. Nice little route there. Nice little out route on a third and five. And he gets the first down, move the sticks. That's good stuff there from Miles Sanders. Here, nice little patience for Ness. Look at that. Look at those little hop. Look at that little delay, the little hop step. And then that little, just that little subtlety that he had there to really finesse that play. That was gorgeous, man. You, you, you see patience from backs, but that was Le'Veon Bell-esque. You know, Joe Mixon-esque right there. Watch the patience here. Yeah, I'm letting this block set up. Now, watch watch how patient he is right here. All right, you see the vision, but watch how patient he was going through this hole. I'm going to just jump there. That was gorgeous. That was nice. And then here, this is fourth and one. This is a quality chain moving run. This is a dirty run. You stick your head down and you get what's there. Nice blocking. Nice um, ability to find a hole on fourth and one. Pick up. The, the necessary yardage. Uh, Miles Sanders, to me, is a really intriguing back. Not getting a lot of hype in this draft. And I told you, this draft is deeper at running back than I gave it credit for initially. And he's one of those guys that makes this a deep draft class of running backs. If you need help at the running back position, there are a number of guys that can help you. And Miles Sanders is one of those backs. This is who I comp him to. And he's a guy that just burst onto the scene. But I've liked this guy since his days in Miami. And I'm talking about Damian Williams, who got the opportunity with the Kareem Hunt situation last year in Kansas City, took full advantage of it. And you can't tell me you weren't impressed with Damian Williams uh, during that playoff run uh, down the uh, stretch of the season. It, the, the Chiefs definitely were impressed to the point where they gave him a two-year extension and paid him new money. And, and so I see a lot of Damian Williams in Miles Sanders. And so I think... 
Miles Sanders has a chance if he can just hang around long, long enough in this league. All right. And we've seen backs just not get opportunities and never really get a chance in the league. If he can just find somewhere soft to land where he can get an opportunity to show what he is capable of, this guy's going to get an opportunity. And I think he's going to take advantage of that opportunity once he gets it. Uh, but I like what he brings to the table as a multi-dimensional back that can catch it, that can run it. And as you saw, he can give you a little bit of pass pro as well. And he was a kick return guy at Penn State before getting an opportunity to start. So there's a lot that he brings to the table, like Miles Sanders a lot. We'll see where he lands in the 2019 NFL Draft. That's Miles Sanders and his draft prospect 101 breakdown. I'm your man, Louis T. If it's not your man, Louis T., it's not the best NFL coverage. It could be. Remember, subscribe to the Louis T. Network for more great content. Check out the podcast, Louis T. Network podcast, available on Stitcher, Google Music Play, iTunes, TuneIn, and, of course, the website, LouisTNetwork.net. I am Louis T. signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Louis T.